So here we have straight angles, all right? So we've got a protractor in there, a, a degree system of protractors. Um, and if you look on the right, okay, that's your zero point on the circle, all right? So zero, and it's, it's hard to see on the board, but if you're looking on your computer screen, you can see it. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40 to 90 at the quarter mark. And then wrap it around to this side, we've got 180. So a straight angle is defined as opposite rays that cut out half of a circle. All right? The circle is how much? How much is a circle? 360 degrees, okay? So if a straight angle cuts out half a circle, how much is that? It's 180, right? So half the circle is 180 degrees, and a straight angle measures 180, okay? Uh, the angles that we work with are all less than 180 degrees. There is such a thing as, it's called a reflex angle, Reflex angles are um, greater than 180 degrees, um, and you usually get to those values by adding other angles together. You don't usually measure an angle to be greater than 180. It usually happens because you add a bunch of smaller ones together, and you just end up bigger than, than 180, okay? So that's a straight angle, 180 degrees. Now, the next step is to, they call it's called stand a line, Right? So if we stand a line on a straight angle, right, we cut out half the straight angle. So remember, a circle is 360, and a straight angle is half of a circle, which is 180. So a right angle is half of a straight angle. Right? So half of 180 is how much? All right, so that's where your 90 degree angle comes from, is we define it as a half of a straight angle. A straight angle is half of a circle. So a right angle measures 90 degrees, or is on its own one fourth of the measure of a circle. Okay, so it's, a, it's half a straight angle, or one fourth of a circle. All right, but it's important to understand that these three ideas are related to each other. Okay, we're a circle, which is 360, or we're half of a circle, which is 180, or we're a quarter of a circle, which is 90. All right, this is important because the degree system, like I said before, degree system is not the only way to measure a circle, right? So another very common way to measure a circle is a clock. All right, so I see a couple people still writing. I'm going to pause here real quick. Okay, so the other way to measure a circle is to use a clock. All right, so if I want to measure a right angle and I'm using a clock, how big would that be? So I'm using a clock. How big is a right angle? Mm, so 90 degrees is a degree, right? This doesn't show degrees. What? Yes, but I'm on a clock. Yes, so from 12 to 3 is how much? It's actually three hours. All right, so a clock is divided into three different systems of measurement. The first is hours. Right? And how many hours are on a clock? 12. The second is minutes. And how many minutes are on the clock? 60. And the third is seconds. And how many seconds are on a clock? 60. Okay? So remember that a right angle is one quarter of a circle. Okay? So the circle is 12 hours. So the right angle is how much? 12 divided by 4, 3 hours, okay? Or we can do minutes, right? A right angle is 60 divided by 4. That's 
15 minutes. Or we could say seconds. That's 15 seconds. But we could measure angles with a clock, all right? In three different ways, in fact. And um, if you're a fan of uh, science fiction or, uh, I don't know, I think Top Gun is in Top Gun, so different aircraft type movies, you might have heard the phrase like on your six, right? Which means right behind you. Well, it means that because you can imagine yourself at the center of a clock with zero over 12 right out in front of you. So then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, all right? And so you can use that. And it means how many degrees, basically, or minutes or hours from straight ahead is a thing, okay? So on your six would be right behind you. On your three would be on your right. On your nine would be on your left. And so you could talk about that, all right? Which is simpler than being like, uh, you know, assuming it's 360, you'd be like, well, you're 180. It just takes way longer, right? It's easier to talk about a clock. But what you're talking about there is angles from forward, right? Degrees or, or you know, how big the angle is from forward. And so you can measure it with a clock, right? That's kind of cool. We can also measure it with, oh no, it's not working. We can also measure it with pizza. Okay, so this is a large Papa John's pizza. How big is a right angle? What's that? No, nope, it's not 90. There's a large Papa John's pizza. How many pieces are there? There are eight pieces of pizza in a Papa John's pizza, right? So there's a large Papa John's. Okay, that has eight slices. So how big is a right angle? Two, it's two slices. That's kind of cool, right? You can measure right angles in pizza. All right, so the system that we use to measure an angle is arbitrary. Now that's kind of cool. You can pick anything you want to divide a circle. Just think about the way we measure linear units. Right? We've got inches, we've got yards, we've got feet, you've got centimeters, decimeters, you've got meters, kilometers, miles, right? Astronomical units. Okay? There's lots of different ways to measure distance. There's also lots of different ways to measure angles. You just use the one that is pertains best to what you're trying to do. Okay? Um, so that's kind of cool. Here's the blow one. Oh yeah, they, they they look they look rather large, don't they? Yeah. This might not actually be a large. It could be a, maybe it's a small. Oh, it's got eight pieces in. It. You can't use the medium, 